Hey everybody, it's Bill and Pam from Soulmates and Sawdust. Uh, I'm Bill, Pam is behind the camera right now. Today we're going to be reviewing this saw from Harbor Freight. It's a Hercules, it's the 12 inch sliding compound miter saw. I've had this for two years and honestly, I absolutely love it. Um, a lot of people, you know, they look at the 12 inch sliding compound miter saws that are out there, <clears throat> DeWalt, you know, Milwaukee, the, those are like the top of the line, uh, $700, $800 saws. This is $350. I think it just went on sale for $300 at Harbor Freight. I'm not, you know, if, if I shop at Harbor Freight for a tool, it's usually not for something that I use on a daily basis. <clears throat> but uh, there are some certain things that I do like. The Hercules brands are fantastic. I do like Bauer. Um, but let's talk about the the Hercules uh, miter saw. So again, two years, right out of the box, it was it was square, and all the angles lined up on it perfectly. I don't know if that's going to be the case with every saw that you get, but this one was. And quite honestly, I use this every day, and I've never had to adjust anything on it. I check it periodically, but it's always square. Uh, so the the, uh, Come on. Can't think of it. <laughs> tolerances. The tolerances um, on this are fantastic right out of the box. So, um, so let's go into some of the features that it has. The first thing that I love that it has is instead of having a laser, and the lasers always seem to go out of, uh, out of alignment with the blade, is it has... A little switch up here which turns on a light up in here and you put your wood across and it gives you a shadow exactly where that blade is going to cut can you see that Let me come in let's zoom bit. in just a little bit so we can see the the shadow okay yep got it all right so if I'm gonna cut a piece off I'm going to line that shadow with the left side of the blade. And I'm going to be right on target. It's a fantastic feature. Uh, I, I love that in this saw. Not a fan of the lasers. Uh, what are the other features that it has? Well, again, each of these things, as typical of most saws, locks it in place, unscrew it little handle underneath here and it has a locking mechanism for each 45 yeah you can hear it kind of 30 lock in. yeah 31.6 you know these are all typical angles that are used 22 and a half and of course 90 degrees and it goes both ways and it has all of those angles preset. It does have a way to change those angles. You can move this back and forth. But again, right out of the box, this was good. I didn't have to do anything. It also has in the back a wrench with a star key on it, and it's already perfect for loosening up a lot of the things that uh, when you need to adjust things on it. Another good feature that it has, well, first of all, it does the sliding. It does approximately 13 inches. When you pull it out, you're, you, you know, you can, you can get to about here, depending on how thick the wood is. Oh, looking for my tape measure. That's about 13 inches, which is good. It also locks, there's, there's a lever here. You can see it over here because it's on both sides. Turn that lever, turn this handle to loosen it. And now you've got your compound angles that you can use both sides. 
Now, in the process of turning the compound angles, if you pull this back up into place, it also has 22 and a half degrees that it locks into. I have to move this in order to get the. It's got a little knob here that you can move this out of the way. Twenty two and a half degrees and of course, 45. And again, this right out of the box square. Now, my mistake was when I put this cabinet in, I had this pegboard up here and I didn't take into account that this is going to come back so far. So I had to drill, put a little hole in here just for it to come through. <laughs> that was my mistake. Another nice feature is this handle right here and this nut. You flip this down and you can adjust this nut. So as you drop this blade down, that hits this. And it prevents me from going down all the way. Why do we use that? Well, let's say I want to cut a dado. I'll need to put a little scrap of wood behind it. I'm gonna come in a little bit here. So sure. I could have probably cut that a little bit less on that final pass, but you get the idea. Now I've got a nice dado if I'm, if that's what I need for the project I'm working on. All right, let's check it for square. But first, let's flip that back up or we're still gonna get that depth stop. Nice. Perfect that way as well. And again, I have never adjusted this. It's been perfect. I've had this for two years. I've gone through multiple blades. It's really a nice saw. Uh, again, not always <clears throat> a fan of some of the Harbor Freight tools, uh, but this one is fantastic. The Hercules brand is wonderful. Um, Love Harbor Freight, love most of their tools, but this one is outstanding. And we do not have a relationship with yes, Harbor Freight we, in we any way. We just... Which is why I don't mind saying <laughs> that some of their tools, you know, everybody knows some of their tools are just not, not great tools. They're fantastic if you're just going to use them once in a while. I have lots of their tools that I use on an occasional basis. But the ones that I use on a regular basis, like this one, on a daily basis, sometimes all day, um, I love this saw. And another feature is how the, the blade slows down. It's not a braking system, uh, as some of the saws have, but it slows down relatively quickly, and I'm happy with that. So that's the... Uh, rev our review of the Harbor Freight 12-inch sliding compound miter saw. Love this tool, uh, well worth the price. Um, probably would spend, you know, five or six, this is worth the five or six hundred, seven hundred dollar tools um, that you could get at Home Depot or. And we'd be curious, does anyone watching have this saw or yeah. have a different saw? Like what are your, what are your thoughts on it? And you know, if you have something different, let us know what you have and what you think of that yeah, as you, well. If you have this saw and you don't like it, would love to hear why. Uh, because I can't think of any reason why anyone wouldn't like this saw, but um, you never know. Um, 
there's always that one <laughs> one in a hundred or so one in a thousand that uh, comes out of the box and uh, just isn't working properly so thank you for watching if you like the content uh, that we had put out today and you want to see more hit the notification bell like our video subscribe to our channel if you would we're going to be putting out more uh, reviews and more projects um, and by doing this um, it lets youtube know to show our videos to other people which we really appreciate Thanks, guys, and have a great rest of your day.